all right hello everyone and peace of christ all of you please invite your friends uh, look like we don't have many people because this is not an account usually i use so please invite your friends and tell them and share the link around today we are going to expose the lies and the deception which come from some people who claim to be uh, people speaking about the truth uh, in the front of me uh, and I made the videos before about this uh, lady who is married to a Muslim and they are doing a great job trying to deceive people uh, the video in front of us the name of the channel is there is no clash absolutely there is no clash I mean to the point the Quran want to cut our necks the Quran want to take us as a slave the Quran want to about women the Quran says be your women. Uh, the Quran says have sex with the children, but there's no clash for sure. Now maybe here they mean they, they mean by this name there's no uh, clash with science. Absolutely, absolutely. Flying carpet, genie, in the bottle, uh, a genie having sex with women, uh, the ring of Suleiman, and the bird who uh, uh, who was a captain or general in the army of Suleiman, and Suleiman dying in his chair for an, almost a year, but nobody noticed standing not the chair, not the chair sorry standing bad voice guys you have a bad voice is my voice clear or no somebody's saying bad voice we want to be sure before we start talking okay so the one who have a bad voice my friend uh, you need to read Quran as you see there's no clash look like there's a clash between Allah and your microphone or speakers now here we see uh, we will show you the deception the Muslims they play when they try to promote their cult saying that Islam teaching science let us see how that work and the video today is called about the sperm journey and the embryo in the Quran okay The Holy Quran not only stated the specific sequence of events that can lead to embryo creation, but also stated with 100% accuracy that during embryonic development, the bones are formed first and then the flesh of muscles. And certainly did we... The bones firms first and then the flesh and the muscles. Okay. God, Allah, create... The Quran says the bones firms first. Um... As I know that the Quran says that the bones firm formed at the end, and then at the end, Allah He closed it. All right, not the bones was formed formed first. The first thing is the blood. Now let us see what she will say. And certainly did we God Allah created man from and from an extract of clay. Then extracted clay. We placed him as a watery bit of semen in a firm lodging. Then we made the watery part of the seam creature that can attach. Then we made the creature that can attach a chewed matter. Then we made the chewed matter bones, and we covered the bones with flesh. Then we developed him into another creation. So blessed is Allah, the best of creators. Okay, let us go with their false translation. Even the translation they are using is false, but we will use their translation to get them busted. So certainly did we, God Allah, created the, the man from the form of extract, what? extract of clay clay then we placed him as a watery bit of semen in a, a watery bit of semen well what does that mean it says a drop of semen a drop what watery bit of semen well, well it says a drop of semen you see the, the the point they say to you watery because they want to say to you uh, uh, around the semen there is a water to protect it but this is not what the Quran is saying. So let us go analyze. And by the way, I have the link for the same video and to give them a credit underneath of my video so you can watch it yourself. If we go in the Quran, let us see what the Quran is saying. Is it true what they are saying to us or it is absolutely a lie? We go in the Quran and we will find the following. Those are the verses in the Quran speaking about uh, how Allah created the baby. Now, there is many verses, all of them, they are repeating the, each other. But the most, like, let us say, uh, clear, there is no addition, is this one. Chapter 23, verse number 14. Uh, this is the Muslim translation here, by the way. It says, then we fashioned him a drop, a cloth, 
and then we fashion the clot into a little loom but you will notice here in the translation they did not say to you what a clot it is if we change the translator look what will happen this is big tab change the translator and this is why I say always you have to be careful with Muslim translation because translation is made to deceive not to teach you see here we made the sperm into a clot so what the Quran is saying that the sperm will transform into a clot and that clot is a congealed dead blood as you see if you go in the video you will see the video saying something not in the Quran let's watch again with 100% accuracy that during embryonic development, the bones are formed first and then the flesh of muscles. And certainly did we, God, Allah, create man from an extract of clay. Then we placed him as a watery bit of semen in a firm lodging. Then we made... The first of all, here she is quoting the same verse I'm quoting. Is, there, is that right? Hold on. What verse she is quoting? Chapter 23 verse number 12 and 14 well hold on you see here she jump this verse did you notice so chap verse number 12 and verse number 14 why you jump the verse number 13 okay and later i will tell you why let us continue. All right. Then we placed him as a watery bit of semen in a firm lodging. Then we made the watery part of the semen a creature that. And we made the what? Oh, the watery, the watery part of the semen. We made what? The watery part of the semen. That is in the Quran. In the Quran, it says we made the watery part of the semen. Here we go. I will I'm willing to open any translation the Muslims they wish to have. You tell me where it says the watery or a word, word water appear. The word nusfa is not even one semen, it is a millions of semen because this is a sperm. Where is the word watery? We made the watery part of the semen. This is what the Quran is saying. You tell me any Muslim in the text, please tell me what in translation you like me to show you. I'm going to switch to all you know what I'm going to talk to go to Sahih Muslim. Hold on. A Sahih International Quran. Hold on. Where I can view all the translation in one page. Uh, maybe this one, hold on. Quran chapter. Here we go. Okay, chapter 23. The watery, the watery part of the semen. The Quran says the watery part of the semen. I want to see that. Uh, let us uh, translation. Let us uh, fix the translation. Uh, I will show you. I will choose all the translation they have. I will not even leave one behind. Here we go. As you see, be my witness. I will add Ahmed Ali. I will add, let us add more. I add this, this, this stupid thing, like we have to add one by one. Uh, Ali, etc. Well, like we have to add one by one. Oh boy. Nothing left. Here we go. Be my witness. I added all the translation. Now we will go chapter 23, verse number 14. I want to see the watery part of the semen. If any one of you see the watery part of the semen in the Quran translation, in any translator, please let me know. Anyone see something? Anyone say watery? Watery part of the semen. I'm looking for that part. Any Muslim, he sees something. 
Muslims, open your eyes. Anyone see the watery part of the semen? The watery part of the semen. We are done. That's it. This is the last translation. So not a single translation. Say what she said. They are a bunch of liars. Those are all the Muslim translator in the world in one page. And look what they are saying. It is the sperm who transform into a clot of a congealed blood. The sperm itself transform into. Is that what science teach? If we go back to her video, you will see the following description. Let us see what is going to transform. Is it the sperm will transform and became a blood? Or science says something different. Continue with your lies. Attach. Then we made the creature that can attach a chewed matter. We made the creature who can attach. Guys, then we made the creature who can attach. Is that what the Quran says? Let us go and see and love together. Here we go. We go back to the Muslim website. What is the Muslim website here? Hmm. The creature who can attach. I want to see that the creature. I can I am desperately looking for the creature who can attach. It says we made Abdul. Let's zoom in. Let's zoom in. The creature who can attach, huh? May Allah attach you somewhere. We made the sperm into a clot of a congealed blood. Where is the creature can attach? Where is the attach anyway? The word attach is not there. The sperm itself will transform into a clot. Then we made the creature. The Quran speak about the sperm. The sperm itself transform into a clot. So the crazy God of Islam claiming that the sperm is the one who will me who, who will be blood. And it's a dead the blood. And then we made that the clot into a loom. And the Muslim here they put between two brackets fetus. So do you see how they lie to you? They add things is not in the Quran to fabricate. And by the way, we are not going to stop here. You see, we are showing you all the Islamic translation. Okay, here we go. We develop the seed, the seeds into a clot. The, the seed will become a clot. There's no egg. We made the sperm. This is all, all the translation. We made the sperm drop into a clinging clot. And we made the clot into a loom. Another translation. Let us see. Maybe we can find something. And then we created the drop between the sperm, a clot, a congealed blood, and we created the uh, the, the clot to uh, uh, beticized tissue. Nice to meet you, beticized tissue. Do you see it? Change the translator. Then we fashion the drop, a clot. So the, the sperm is coming to be a clot. And the clot became a loom. There is no watery. There is no uh, 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 what is that the attached creature? Well, this is absolute lie, absolute fabrication and translation. They have no dignity, and they lie. They translate. They knew we do not know Arabic, and how you know how we how you will know? But it's very easy, my friend. Even in their stupid translation, which is none of it is true. And then we made the creature that can attach a chewed matter. Nice to chew you. The baby is a chewed matter. Why are you? A, are we a wolf? We will eat it. Then we made the chewed matter bones, and we covered the bones with flesh. Then we developed him into another creation. So blessed is Allah, the best of creators. Okay. So the last thing, the last stage, two stages, is bones and then the flesh, right? Guess what? If I show you what is the first thing a human being is developed, you will not believe it. The first thing a human embryo develop, a develop is his anus. In what order? Let us zoom in. In what order your body part? in the womb 
Not me, I am not a doctor. I have no idea what they are talking about. I'm just going by what they say. Number one is Anus. Nice to meet you, Mr. Anus. Number one is the Anus. All right. Number two. Let us see. Nerves cells. Number three, brain spine and placenta. Placenta. Excuse my English. Then the heart. Then the limbs. Okay. What else? What else? Uh, commercial. Then the face, then the eyes, then the gen gentiles or gentiles, then the teeth, then the heart, the hand and the feet, then the bones, then fingerprint, then masculus, then internal organs. This is how the order is. Then the ears. Then eyebrows, fingerprint, lungs. We go back to the anus. So, according to the Quran, you are first a blood, but look like your blood is an anus. <laughs> the sperm, if we translate the Quran now, this is what is going to be. We made the sperm into anus. The Quran says the first thing Allah He made is the sperm transform into a dead blood, not anus. Number two is nerve cell, brain, spine, which means, by the way, when we say the spine, it means the bones is a process from the developing already. But the bones, when we talk about bones, that this is the root of it, like you know, the, the marrow, etc., and later will turn to be real bones. But the bones already, everything is actually created in yes, is in stages, but it's happening all in the same time. But in the stages here, we see that things will come to be organs, real organs. So if we look here in the in the uh, uh, in the blood, where is the blood is exist look, uh, exactly? Because Muhammad he starts from the blood. I will search for the word blood, so we don't look for it. Where is the blood? There is no blood. This article they did not mention the word blood. Well, we can see in different one, but anyway, here just talking about the organ uh, as an organ, you know, like real uh, or let's say uh, real things. Uh, but if we go to different, uh, let's see, different websites, what is the order uh, of organ? Uh, formation inside the human fetus. Let us see. Um, you can read actually. You know, I don't want. I don't want to read it uh, all of it, but I think I can find the picture. Let us search for this. There's many videos actually I can use just to show you how they lie to us about this, but uh, uh, I'm, I'm I'm trying not to use videos of others because you know they will complain they might complain. Um, let us see this one.
This is from a video, it's called Natural Mama. Natural Mama. Happens. Papa sperm meets the egg, genetic material combines, baby's sex is determined, and a single celled zygote has started traveling. Did she say the, the baby's sex determined, which means from the beginning? According to Muhammad, the sex determined termination is at the end of the process. If we go in the hadith, you will see the following. I'm trying to find the hadith how Muhammad explained it because the Muslims they try to say whatever they want But we get them always busted from what their prophets say not what we say Because people they can claim whatever they wish uh, Let us see here Here we go read carefully with me Prophet said, Allah puts the angel, the angel of a church, and here they say to you the uterus, but doesn't say that by the way. It says, it says the womb, and the angel says, Oh Lord, it is semen. Oh Lord, now it is a clot. Oh Lord, now it's a piece of a flesh. Then, if Allah wishes to complete its creation, the angel asks, Oh Allah, it will be male or female. Do you see it? According to Muhammad, the last thing, the last process is male or female. According to science, the first thing is will be determined it is a male or a female. And I am not the one saying that. Sex is determined, and a single celled zygote has started traveling through the fallopian tube. Baby has officially arrived inside the uterus and implanted into the uterine lining and will begin transitioning from a blastocyst to an embryo. Mama's body has finally started producing HCG, but is still a wee bit early to detect baby via home pregnancy test. If mama didn't know she was pregnant before, she's likely discovering it now. She's officially missed a period. Baby's got some big things going on this week too. Her major organs, including her brain, heart, and spinal cord have started to develop. So this is in, in week number five. In week number five, the major organs, they start to be developing. Is that what the Quran is saying? No. Is that what Muhammad is saying? No. Let us go and see. Let us get the Abdul busted. The first Abdul, Muhammad. And don't tell me that Muhammad did not understand his Quran and you Muslims who make videos about science do not understand the Quran better. This is your prophet speaking about how the baby is made. When a drop of semen remain in the womb for 40 or 50 days, is that what do you say in your video? Why you don't say that the prophet said that the drop of semen according to Mr. Muhammad stay in the womb of the mother for 40 days? According to her videos, the semen will fertilize immediately. Let us go back. Here. It can stay attached in the woman for a couple of days at least before she ovulates. Couple of days, did you hear it? This is your video, not my video. Potato, this is your video. Attach and release with ease due to carbohydrate binding proteins. They attach to the epithelial cells lining the oviduct where they stay and can quickly detach and move when ovulation gets closer. In short, they can stay attached in the woman for a couple of days at least before she ovulates, detach and move closer to the egg when ovulation does occur, and then attach again to the egg. According to science, 
sperm can live up to five days we can type right now in the front of you how long sperm can live the answer in the front of you five days sperm survival varies due to number of factors you need to know that the maximum amount of time of a sperm can live in the women etc system and up to five days so you're a prophet claiming that a, a, a sperm of a, of a human being can stay inside the female for 40 or 50 days why you don't mention that science in your in, in, in your explanation because either we take your explanation or we take muhammad explanation and by the way the muslim they will say to you we are mentioning something weak this is sahih muslim they cannot say it's weak and we can show you the same from sahih al-bukhari they cannot say it's weak so you're a prophet claim something very stupid proving to us that this is absolutely false secondly it is it is the sperm always will transform into something else as you see here with me all that the exalted declarious appointed an angel the uh, uh, the caretaker of the womb he would go inside the woman there's an angel and he would say my lord now it's a drop of semen my lord now it is a clot of a blood why you don't mention in your video that the semen will be a clot of a blood are you ashamed of your prophet false understanding of his Quran look like Muhammad is the last one to know what the Quran is saying is this is a weak hadith no this is Sahih Muslim hadith number 2646 why you don't mention the explanation and the interpretation of the Quran by your prophet Obviously, you don't want to do that because that will prove that you are a liar, a fabricator. As you see, all of those are Sahih. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. Do you see it? We are not making things up. We can keep showing you stories about how the stupid development of the baby, according to Muhammad, come to be in this. And all of this is Sahih. Can the Muslim they say this is not Sahih? Imagine that the sperm will be for 40 days in the mother womb and then would became a clinging thing for similar period. Is that what the Quran says? And is that what the what the, what the science says? The Quran in agreement with Muhammad. Muhammad give more details. The Quran get itself busted by Muhammad explaining the Quran so why they lie when they make videos about science and the Quran the answer is very simple this is a cult of deception read with me this one are you going to say to me this one is is weak we used to sit and Abdullah mentioned mentioned blah, 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 blah. okay Abdullah he says what do you think of uh, of the cut of uh, to cut his head look how nice the companion of Muhammad they are talking about cutting a man head <laughs> notice it in his foot etc and look uh, here it says uh, they are talking about cutting a human being pieces I mean look at this uh, you know uh, okay anyway uh, فذكروا من خلقه فقال عبد الله أرأيتم لو قطعتم رأسه أكنتم تستطيعون أن تعيدوا قالوا لا قال فيده قالوا لا so he's talking if we cut the man head this man head can you put it back no if we cut his hand can you put it back no and now the science is starting the drop remain in the womb for 40 nights and then the blood which is a congealed blood become a blood clot and then the loop of a flesh and then Allah sends an angel and he record provision of this uh, a child this is the real science which they will not show you as you see it's in the front of you all and all of this cannot be denied this is a very very clear this is sahih this is authentic how many I need to show
the messenger of Allah and he is the truthful for sure he never lie verily the, he said the creation verily the creation of each of you is brought together in his mother womb for 40 days this is as a nutfa as a drop of semen you are Muhammad confirming over and over that you are a drop of semen for 40 days but we showed you that semen can live only for five days in four days, fifty in forty days, already you are an embryo. As you see here in the video we showed you. This is week number week number one. Already you are an embryo, and your organ is starting to develop. Baby's got some big things going on this week too. Her major organs, including her brain, heart, and spinal cord, have started to develop. But according to Muhammad, in the week, in the forty first forty days, you are still a sperm. <laughs> There's no egg. <laughs> what a scam! And then become an ala alaqa. Alaqa, what alaqa? The Muslim they lie to us. They say alaqa is a, is something cling. Well, yes, it's a cling. I agree, but it is a clot of a blood. This is why it's called the alaqa. The the blood which is dead. When you have a cut in your skin, a blood will come out, will dry, and will make a alaqa. That is the alaqa. Do you understand? If you cut your finger, if you cut your skin blood will come out will bleed and then that blood will dry and that dry blood we call it in arabic alaqa so according to the quran the sperm became a became a alaqa that is the most stupid thing what muhammad he noticed that because women they lose when they when, when they have this uh, uh, this uh, miscarriage they you know the baby come in, in blood or they de depend in the stage of the baby so Muhammad he noticed there's a blood and this blood looked like a dead blood so Muhammad he think this is the beginning it's a congealed dead blood and after that Allah will make it as a mudra mudra is a flesh which is you can chew for the same period okay so what how many period we have 40 days for the blood as a clot 40 40 days for a nutfa for a sperm then 40 days for a congealed the blood this is 80 days and then as a mudra for other 40 days this is 120 days and then there is sent to him an angel who blow his soul so all this time this creature have no soul he is 120 years old sorry 120 days old but yet he have no soul that's weird and then he command for matter for him how much money he will make his life is span if he will be happy or unhappy this is all decide for you whether he will enter paradise or not <laughs> okay so uh, uh and then he Muhammad he explained that how you will go to hell because Allah he decided determined your, your destiny so what we see in this video is nothing but deception in the translation in order to fool people they are assuming that you do not know Arabic and because you do not know Arabic we can pause there any translation we wish and how you will know that we are liars you will not know and then look here she said in the video then is going to attach again to the egg the quran says egg does occur and then attach again to the egg you are quoting for me chapter 23 verse number 12 13 14 supposedly what is the word egg why allah forget the egg when the Quran is saying that the sperm will transform into something else, how you can say the, the, the word egg there? Where do you get it from? So they insert word in the translation just to fool you. It's an uphill battle all the way until one strong and determined sperm manages to... Did she say one? Did she say one? The Quran says we made the nutfa, the nutfa, we make it another creature. The nutfa is not one sperm. The nutfa is a millions of a sperm. 
Let us go to the Quran and laugh at your lies. What a shameful liar you are. Marry in a Muslim, setting yourself to the devil. And then you start lying. Here we go. So the drop, it is a drop. It's a drop of a sperm. Do you know how many sperm semen inside the drop of a, of a sperm? <laughs> how you make it one semen? We made the nutfa. He did not say we made one semen. He said we made the nutfa. The nutfa is millions of sperm. So your God, he claimed that he did not know that the nutfa contain more creatures, obviously. And this is why he thinks that the nutfa itself, which is the sperm that come of the man, is what will make that happen. Now, just to confirm what we are saying, let me show you something more, Muhammad, he said. This is, will be the bullet and the kill. Read and love. What Muhammad explained about women getting bread net, how the women she get the bread net. First of all, Muhammad, he claimed that the women, she have a water and her water is thin and yellow and the man, he have a water is thick and white. So Muhammad, he compared between two kinds of liquid, the liquid of the women and the liquid of the man. And Muhammad claimed that the liquid of the women is yellow and thin. And that what will make the baby come to existence as you see. The messenger of Allah said, the man water is thick and white, and the women water is thin and yellow. Which of them comes first? The child will resemble the parents. Why you did not mention that in your video? Because that will give an amazing scientific miracle, so everybody will die laughing. Don't come first, my friend, if you are ugly. Let your baby look beautiful like your wife. This is how stupid Muhammad is. Not only that, maybe the Muslim they would try to lie to you says, Oh, he said the water of the women he's talking about, uh, they try to make it egg. But the egg is not a water, my friend. It is not a water. It's not a fluid which women she can show her, see in her private part. If we go in different hadith, you will see Muhammad explaining what is that, where we can feed this, see this yellow water. Read and love. As you see here, all those hadith are explaining to us. Umm Salim went to Allah Apostle and she said to him, Allah Apostle, Allah is not ashamed of the truth. She is not ashamed of touching her vagina and seeing something hot in the dream. That's no shame. And then he's saying, is bathing necessary for a woman when she see or she had a sexual dream? This woman, she have a very hot night. Upon this, the expert prophet on hot dreams and sexual dreams, he said, yes, when she sees the liquid And here Muhammad he repeat the same thing that liquid is the one who is going to make her resemble the baby resemble his mother the wife of Muhammad she asked him does the woman have a sexual dream the fact by the way doesn't say that the, the wife she this is false translation the wife she was asking do women have orgasm you see this is false translation she did not say does the woman have sexual dream she said does the woman have that which means look liquid there Orgasm, Muhammad, he said, you see, just, just to show you how they, they get themselves busted in the translation, how they lie and they expose themselves. If this is about, does the women have sexual dream? What does this have to do? Muhammad saying, so what, what, what way does her child resemble her then? So women, she have sexual dream. This is how, what make the baby resemble her? It's a dream. So they lie in the translation. The women, the wife of Muhammad, she's asking him, Do women have this charge? The liars they say, Does a woman have a sexual dream? But that cannot be because here we go in the front of you. It says Muhammad is saying, So then, if not, 
how then the women she have how the child resemble her you see how stupid this translation they try to hide the truth from you but even their own stupid translation getting them busted what how the baby resembling the mother have to do with sexual dream you donkey simply there what she said do the women have this charge and we can show you the same story in different hadith and you will see the things change here we go look you see how the stupid liars they expose themselves you see here the same hadith different translator the same website this is Sahir Bukhari the wife she said does the women get a discharge but in the previous hadith they translated as does the women see sexual dream <laughs> <laughs> and as you see Muhammad he claimed that this is sexual discharge which she noticed it in her vagina this is not something internal this is something she see in her private part so it is not something they can say this is the egg this is something she see and she need to wash it you cannot wash the egg the egg is not a liquid the, e the egg it cannot be seen you can't grab it by your hand too Muhammad is talking about the sexual discharge and that liquid is what make the baby resemble the parents why they don't mention the scientific miracle of the prophet in their videos because the whole point is deception they assume that you are stupid in Arabic and nothing wrong to say you are stupid in Arabic I am stupid in Chinese I am stupid in many languages so I know nothing about it so here they are assuming that you do not know and your knowledge is limited so we can fool you so we can fabricate statement which is not there we add the word watery the, the watery part of the sperm now she said that the last stages is bones is that true no from the beginning actually you have bones as we showed you in the video but the bones are not really in the stage to consider to be like strong bones according to muhammad at the end he closed you which means you are all this time between a sperm to blood and then bones and then he, he closed you but this is false so all the process is a stupid and not only that we don't want to forget something very important This is a Muslim Abdul who called me before. Watch and love. And from the backbone of the man and the rest of you. Here we go. <coughs> Here we go. From the Quran, verse number six and verse number seven. It says that there's a gushing fluid which make the baby created coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman. Read it. It says that the gushing fluid emerges from between the backbone and ribs. Hmm. In the Quran, it says that a uh, uh, man is created from the ribs uh, from the uh, ribs of a man. Ah, but this is about the creation of the baby, not about the creation of Adam, my friend, or Eve. Yes, but show me where in the Quran does a woman have sperm. It show says me. that in the front of you. Oh, it doesn't say that. Okay, what is it's the gushing fluid? No, oh, okay, here we go. Read with me. me. Gushing fluid from between the man and the woman. Do you see it? Where? It's in the front of you. Wait, are you uh, going at Quran or, uh, or Tafsir? Quran and Tafsir. No, I, I I want Quran. Okay, let me ask you. Do you know? Do you understand the Quran better than your Prophet? Where does Muhammad say that women have sperm? Okay, Muhammad if I show if I show you that Muhammad he said women have a sperm, are you going to 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 laugh with me at Muhammad? Do you promise me? Okay, I promise you. And, uh, okay, here we go. Oh, but, 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 just wait. Don't, don't, don't. Wait, 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 Hold on. Okay. Just wait, man. Have patience, little bit. Okay. Your prophet said, the man water is white and thick, and the women water is thin and yellow. Thin and yellow is a sperm. Okay, sperm what is it, white? Okay, the white man, the, the white, the man have a sperm, it's white and thick. And according to Muhammad, the women have a sperm, it is thin and oh. yellow. This is a sperm. This is what? 
Where does it say sperm of a woman? Well, how come you you got you understood? Okay, does it say how you know that the what is the white water of the man? Is that a sperm or this is an ice cream? It's a sperm. Okay, so now he did not say the word sperm, but right away you understand that this is a sperm. Don't be a hypocrite. So your yeah, prophet is com uh, shut up. You're a prophet comparing between two water, the water of the no. man and the water of the women, and this is the sperm. The sperm of the man is white and thick, and the sperm of the women is thin and yellow. And not only that, your prophet, hold on. Does your prophet say that your prophet says whichever of them comes first, the child will resemble the parents? Yes. Okay, so, they, so you agree. You agree if your mother, do you look like your mother or you like your father? My, my mother. That's mean your mother, she have orgasm first. That's wonderful. So my friend, no. okay, no, yes. do you know? Yes. It is what it says. Whenever, yes. Yes. Whichever yes. of them, yes, yes, you agree. Okay, so whichever yes. of them come first, the child will resemble the parents. So, okay, what is yes. the yellow water of your mother in her vagina have to do with you look like her? Explain it to us. It's a, uh, of whoever discharges first, right? Yeah, but he is explaining to us the water in your, in your mother vagina and says whoever bring that water first, the baby will look like the, the, the parents. So why you look like your mother because of the yellow water of your mother? Explain to us. Where does it say sperm? Okay, forget about the word sperm. Forget about the word sperm. No, there's no, a yellow, no. there's a yellow, there's a yellow water will make you look like your mother. Explain to us what is that water. It's what the, when the woman is charged. I know we got that point. We got that point. But why this yellow water will make you look like your mother? Because it prevails over the sperm of a, of a man. Okay, so what is that yellow water? What? You see, each time you are busted, you say to me, what? What? You need no. time. Sing, think, no problem. Call a friend. What is okay. the yellow water? How many times I need to repeat the question? What is the yellow water made you look like your mama? Okay, when I say uh, <laughs> the, the woman have a, a water, it is uh, yellow and uh, thick. Does it mean sperm? No. It doesn't matter. It tell doesn't me, mean, tell me. Okay, it doesn't mean sperm. It means what? It means what? What is what is the water of your mother which is yellow and thin? Is that her piss? No. So what is it? Why this yellow water made you look like her? Explain to us. We are listening. I don't know. Each time I, I spank you, I change your diaper, I put powder <laughs> over your ass, you say to me, I do not know. So why you are calling me if you do not know? Because you are claiming something which is not in the I know I am not claiming your prophet saying that. He said that this water make you look like her. Explain to me what is that water? He he he, he compared between two water, the water of the man and the water of the women. So the water of the man is thick and white, and that obviously in his time is ice cream. Yesterday, actually, we have another Abdul who called us, if you remember. Uh let me see. But let us explain this one first here. Those, even my nose, brother. Allah, please protect the backbone because I want to have babies. If we call Zach and Naik and we ask him, what do you think about this miracle? Tadadun, 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 tadadun. Great print. I told you, don't ever call me again, brother Zach and Naik. How you know it's me? I told you, my phone even. Start thinking differently. You are a devil. I hate you. Hey, brother, we are reading Ibn Kathir here, and this is the Quran, chapter 86, verse number 6 and 7. It says, women, she have a sperm coming from her ribs. What do you say? This is absolutely true. And Muslim women are different from other women. You cannot compare between our women because they are holy. And you women, they are not holy. And this is why our women, they have a sperm coming from their ribs because they have holy, holy ribs. So you are saying because this is only for Muslim women? Absolutely. Uh, why? Because our women, they are holy. Your women are holy. So are you saying the sperm location change depending on how holy you are? Absolutely, this is true. And I will prove it to you. As an example, when my father having sex with my mother, my mother, he noticed that he have a liquid is coming from her earth. My father, he thought this is the milk coming from her boobs. 
and later he discovered that this is not milk it was a sperm uh, uh, but the prophet said it is yellow is it yellow or look like milk this is depends what he eating if he eat something yellow with it's going to be yellow if he eat as a cream it's going to be white but most likely the prophet is true it is yellow with thank you for reminding me <clears throat> And the funny they say that Zachary Naik is a doctor. Where is Dr. Zachary Naik? Hmm? Let us see. From water gushing. I want to see if the photos can explain that. Jiggy, 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 Baltimore. All right. Try now. Sorry, the prophet. He said, "The drink camel urine." <laughs> Let me see. I, I'm trying just to find you. The the mascara, which happened even yesterday. Let us see yesterday the mascara. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we have a mascara every day. What we can say? I mean, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Let us see. Oh. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Let us see. Now we have a call. I see think. women, they drive men crazy and they glue them. How a woman she make you marry her? Because of the glue. And this is absolute. Scientifically correct, and this is how we can prove that Allah is all merciful and women are made by Allah. And it's extremely, extremely true, and this is scientific. Thank you, Lord. And don't call me again. Thank you very much. What? <laughs> Just trying to the Quran, Quran, brother, before I make, make Skype work. If you are not a man enough to talk about what you call me for, then don't continue. What if I show you that Jesus did not die? Even from, from someone who wasn't, who didn't know anything about Islam, anyone can write a see. Okay, who is the one? Okay, who is the one? Hold on. Who is the one you accept him to be lawful to explain to us the tafsir? Which, which, which mufassir you follow? No, you, you tell me you tell me the ayah and I can check. No, you don't, no, no, you don't oh. check. I will get you busted. Oh. Because uh, let, 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 let us make it simple oh. for you. Let, oh, let, let us make it simple prophet. for you. You see, I'm going to shut you up. You are a coward okay. like your prophet. Okay. I want you okay. to show me. Okay. I want you to show okay. me one time first before I go and show you. One time your prophet, he said, Paul is the one who corrupted Christianity. How come uh, your prophet? Is, this is about Paul. We don't want to talk about this now. Just hold on. Let us see. Where is the... Okay, let's see this one here. Told me too. Tell me. Jibreel, tell me how Jibreel told me. How, why, why sometimes is a boy? Why sometimes is a girl? I, I will tell you why. According to us in the Middle East, if you go in the bus and the bus is so busy, if the driver he hit the brake fast and then you have a woman in front of you, she will deliver a boy. If the woman okay. she's behind you, she will deliver a girl. According to Jibreel, but this is uh, this is my Jibreel now. Now give me the answer. Stop playing games. I uh, look. If, I'm, if you don't let me speak, then I, got, I can't give you no, 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 I'm letting you speak. Give me the answer. Okay, I'm giving you the answer. You, then you tell me where I made it wrong, where I made a mistake. Let me finish my answer, okay? <laughs> now, we, we, we know, science tells us, when the boy, the, the chromosomes of X and Y mix up, then it's a boy, okay? <laughs> but when X and X, that's a girl. <laughs> yeah. Now... <laughs> what X and X? What chromosome? Your prophet saying, Whoever comes first, my friend, stop playing games. Whoever comes first. I, I don't think you'll give me a chance. I think you just make what, it what chromosome? Whoever of them comes I first. I have to explain to you how I understand this. Uh, his, uh, his explanation. explain to me what the hadith is saying. He says comes first, he didn't say chromosome. 
the, uh, and my friend, uh, my friend, he said the world of the women is thin and yellow. He's speaking about women liquid, a sexual liquid, not the egg, not, not, not the X and Y, because the X and Y is not the water in the vagina. What the water in the vagina have to, with the X and Y, my friend? I don't think you're going to give me a chance. No, I am giving you, but you are trying to run away. You, are you actually are trying to make me hang up on you. You are trying to do that because this is the only way to escape. Your prophet is getting busted. He cannot be a prophet. Your prophet is a scam. Oh, uh, what is the liquid? This is the liquid of the man. The liquid of the man is thick and, and white. This is the, the cum of the man. And what is the liquid for the women? Is thick and, and yellow. And the woman, she is asking him, should she wash her vagina? He, he said, yes, if she sees that. If she see it, it is something you see. It is our. It is not ex internal. It is external. It's outside. So if she see, if she see that, she have to wash. And Muhammad he claimed that the liquid you see in your vagina, you see, not something you don't see. Something outside. Okay. So that if that if you see that if you see that will make you resemble the child. Do you see it? This is the Hadith Sahih Bukhari too. The woman she came to Muhammad and he gave the same explanation. Yes, if she noticed the water, i.e., this is charge. If she noticed the water, i.e., this charge, this is not something inside the woman. The egg is inside the woman. The woman she never see the egg. She will never see it. So, guys, in the other day to tell you a story. This is a true story coming from Arabia. It's a fresh and new uh, that I was walking in the street and I saw a chromosome. And I told the chromosome, I'm going to wash you. The chromosome, he says, please don't wash me because if you wash me, I will not be able to do my job. I said, what's your job? He said, my job is to do big, to be a chromosome. I said to him, hmm, are you a Muslim chromosome or a Christian chromosome? He said to me, I'm a Muslim because all the chromosomes are born to be Muslims. Do you see how they try to fabricate what is a joke to make it look like it is science? How in the world anyone can believe in such a garbage? So they make videos, they look professional, they mention to you scientists, the name of scientists, and they try their best to fabricate the translation in the Quran in order to get someone naive and stupid who do not know what they are talking about to fool him and to make him believe that Quran and Islam teach science right now I'm going to finish in this channel and I will go live again in my other channel so we can get a phone calls from Abdul do you want to join me there guys do you like to join us there shall we go live in the other channel give me uh, let us make a vote shall we go or you are bored of Christian friends should I bring my chromosome with me or without a chromosome? I, I you know, to be fair, I'm going to bring, uh, bring chromosome X and Y in the same time, just to be fair. All right. Give me just uh, uh, 10 minutes and we will be live in the other uh, channel in the Arabian Prophet. Thank you very much for being here. Please download the video. This video will not stay here. You can cut the pieces if you want. And let us expose the liars. And liars, liars will end in fire. We will never lie. For we are the followers of Jesus and if we lie we cannot claim to be Christians telling the truth liars are not of us it is of them and we prove it to you every day thank you very much for being here follow me in 10 minutes in the other channel in the Arabian prophet thank you very much and we will see if we can get some Muslim calls so we can explore explore Islam and we get Islam busted better and even by the help of the Muslims. Thank you and see you soon. Bye bye.